There's usually horses in this field, isn't there? Normally, but... What? <laughs> For anyone who didn't see, I've just gone nearly flying. <laughs> Hi everyone, so it's Thursday the 12th of November and we're going for one of our lockdown walks. Uh, it's the last walk we can probably do for a few days in it because you're in hospital tomorrow for your permacath. I don't want to. No, you don't want to but it's essential, it's got to be done. So uh, we was, I mean I'm where to go for a walk today, then I realised I left actually our car at the works place, haven't I, where I work, used to work. So, so we're, we're going for a lovely, what, five, six mile walk? Well, in a car it's only a six minute drive, but walking it's about a 40 minute drive, a uh, 40 minute drive, 40 minute walk. So uh, yeah, we're going to take you with us, aren't we? <laughs> we'll see you all soon, guys. It's a little bit nippy, isn't it, now? When you're in out of the sun, it's a little bit nippy. Yeah, it is nippy. the road, then the other road, and then down by the stables. Okay. Yeah, normally. The wizard, the wonderful wizard of us. <laughs> the boredom's kicking in now. <laughs> and how long have we been walking? Not even 10 minutes? <laughs> yeah, they must be getting on for 10 at least. There's usually, there's usually horses in this field, isn't there? Normally, but. <laughs> <laughs> for anyone who didn't see, I've just gone nearly flying. <laughs> oh, why is it that? It always. <laughs> I had a whole thing of what I wanted to say and I go flying. Oh for YouTube Wayne thinks it's funny to do this weird weird face we'll be in supermarkets and he just thinks it's funny to walk around looking like a I don't know what the I don't know what I'm like little, little monk. <laughs> don't know. I'm gonna put the phone away for a while because I'm gonna end up with my teeth smashed in if I fall over so we'll see you in a bit guys. Hi everyone we've just stopped I'm getting a little bit tired so we're gonna carry on walking in a few minutes I just wanted to say something quickly because I know people are probably thinking it. Yes, I do have a lot of various different disabilities and what do you say, ailments? Ailments, yeah. <laughs> um, but exercise is really good for people with fibromyalgia and tomorrow I'm going to be bed bound anyway in hospital and so I will be on Saturday and Sunday so I thought why not walk the extra couple of miles and I know it's a bit controversial because you shouldn't be pushing your body and people are going to have an opinion and say is she actually really that poorly but I really enjoy getting out and about and usually I go swimming but obviously with lockdown I, I can't get any um, exercise. exercise and yesterday I tidied the whole house for the first time mm. since lockdown so if anyone who doesn't have YouTube and watches our channel 
no one's perfect. You see all these filtered videos when our, yeah. the house was an absolute pigsty, wasn't it? These walks that we do, you enjoy them at the time, but you always pay for them the next day, don't you? Yeah. You're, people don't see that you're in bed the next day for the majority of the day, are you? Most of the day afterwards. Yeah. So, but well, I wouldn't have it any other way, would you? We can no. enjoy ourselves. No, you. Right, we'll see you in a bit. Estate. We it's haven't broken in for anyone wondering. There's a stately home, Patfield House, and then you've got the gardens around. And where I used to work was on those gardens. I love that sound. Can you see any ducks resting or anything? No, but normally they we had two swans in here that I uh, called Mr and Mrs Swan. There's fish in there, isn't Yeah, there's fish, but there used to be two swans that live in here. But I don't know you don't always see them, so whether they're upstream or not, I'm not sure but We're nearly there, aren't we? I'd say five minutes to go. This is the longest bit, isn't it? This stretch. Five minutes to go? Mm. Five minutes to go. <laughs> I said this is the longest stretch. Are these cornfields? No, not no more. Ah. There's the sheep. I don't know whether you can see them. Yeah. They're usually sticking their heads out of this little hedge, aren't Probably. they? Well, no, the gate further on. They normally stick their little heads out. We're going to call it a day now because it's tiring holding the camera. And filming so we'll uh well we'll call it a day for at the moment yeah we'll check back in with you later i'm happy to call it a day altogether so guys if you like and subscribe <laughs> no no, no. <laughs> yeah we'll be back with you we'll see you later yeah, yeah. see you later can't talk <laughs> Hi folks, so we're just on the last stretch to my old work. We just got around that bendy road and up there. Now, I'm not sure if you can see, but that building just there, that was my old work. It's a little bit blurry at the moment, I'll wait for it to zoom in. And that red car you can see is obviously mine. But yeah, it's so sad. I loved working here. I was here for 10 years and then I could imagine myself working there for another 10 more. I absolutely loved it and it's so sad. I'm still pretty gutted to be honest that as you can see how beautiful it is to live around it or to work around here. That view every morning, it's just beautiful coming in every morning and enjoying it. It's so peaceful and quiet. Obviously it's not now with me um, nattering through it all, but yeah, it's lovely. So we finally made it guys. We're back in the car. Jesse's just relaxing there. So I just thought I'd share my old office or old work. Looks a bit of Surrey all closed down and closed. Like I said, I'm still gutted over it, but I need to grow up and get over it. It was a job, it was a good job, but I just need to forget about it and move on now. But it's still a beautiful place, still beautiful surroundings. So, on that note, something. yep. Isn't that the house that you said one of them was filmed in the Danish girl? Uh, yes, one of those houses was used for a clip of the Danish girl. I've never watched the film myself so I don't actually know which house it was but there was some film crop here about a year ago no longer than that maybe two three years ago you got a sneak peek of Alicia Vikander didn't you yeah so as I was saying yeah I'm gonna leave now because otherwise if I stand there much longer I'll end up getting a bit upset so I'll see you later guys on a run from my given disaster speed away from the holy mind I swear I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now All my weakness keep on linger, linger on On repeat like it will be my favorite song Oh, I know I should be moving, moving on But you got me good, you got me good I keep on trying to depend Still it feels like a 
from a hot California I forgot how you look like in rain I swear I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now All my weakness keep on linger, linger on On repeat like Good morning everyone, it's Friday the 13th of November, <laughs> to think of the date then. Sorry we didn't finish off the vlog last night. Wayne just watched the football, which was the England and Northern Ireland game, I think. I think it was a friendly before they do the uh, qualifiers for Euros 2021. So yeah, today I am up really early. You can probably tell that I'm shattered. I am dressed. Um, because I am going to the Royal Three today. It's currently half past five in the morning and um, I'm just basically waiting to go and get an ambulance to the Royal Three to have my permacath fitted. So I'm a little bit nervous. I'm actually a lot more relaxed than I thought I would be. Wayne's in bed at the moment. I'm not going to expect him to get up. Um, he's given me a kiss and wish me good luck. He's a man of few words, bless him. But he'll be waiting for me with open arms when I come home today. That's if I do come home today. So the plan for today is that I'm waiting for transport. I am lucky enough to receive NHS funded transport, which is great because travelling to the Royal Three is quite far from where I live. Um, and then when I get there, I'll be checked into the Pitti ward. I'm not sure what Pitti stands for, so when I get there, I'll find out. And then I presume I will have like a pre-op because I've not had one yet. And then they will obviously uh, get me my bed. I will be prepared. They'll ask me all sorts of questions. I presume I'll be COVID tested. And then they're hoping to get me down to theatre for this morning. It'll be any time after eight o'clock because that's what time the letter says. And then I will be taken down to one of the Royal Three's massive surgical rooms where they will perform the permacaf procedure. I will explain more about what the permacaf is after I've had it done later. It is similar to a pick line and a central line that you've seen me with before. Um, and But the only other thing is I'm having it put here in my chest. So today you don't see anything nice clean chest nothing there and later I will have um, some extensive tube sticking out of it and then once that's finished this it should take about 45 minutes I'm not going under the knife I'm not having surgery it's just a procedure and then they said I'll go back up to Pitu where I will recuperate and rest and then I will hopefully speak to a nurse to talk about what the future holds and what's going to happen and they will obviously also discuss with me about district nurses because I'll need people to come out every week to change the dressing and flush it. And then I will wait for my transport, which could be a couple of hours, and then I'll be home to rest. And then I've got all day tomorrow and Sunday, um, Saturday tomorrow, and then I'm back at the Royal Three on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday to start my second round of plasma exchange. So, um, I will see you soon and I will check in with you when I'm probably getting in the ambulance. So wish me luck guys. Hi, are you alright? Oh yeah. Yeah, thank you. Oh. How's your morning? Just started. Just started your shift? Yeah, I live in Stanmore, so not too far for me. I've been up since half past five. <laughs> past seven, isn't it? Actually, I got five. They're very prepared, these ambulances, aren't they? They make sure that you get to your hospital on time. Yeah, uh, when you have to be there? Nine o'clock. Right? Eight o'clock, yeah, so it's not too bad.
just made it to the Royal Three. I'm just waiting to go on the Pitty Ward now. Um, it doesn't open till 8 o'clock, it's about 7.45. Um, you can just see I'm on level 2. I will see you all when I'm settled on the ward and I will speak to you all soon. Hi everybody, so it's Friday the 13th of November, um, it's just ticked 12 o'clock so it's lunch time so I'm going to sort myself out with some lunch soon. Uh, I'm currently on my own at the moment because Jessica is in hospital, uh, she went this morning at 6.45, an ambulance came to pick her up, um, she's got a little minor operation or procedure today, she's having a permacath fitted. Um, for those of you who don't know what a permacath is, um, I will put a little link in the bottom where you can click it and watch it on YouTube. It's the easiest way I can explain it. I'm not medically, um, I'm not professional in any medical field, so the only easiest way I can explain it is if you just click on the link and watch the short video. This animation shows how a tunneled central line is put into a vein close to the heart. Click the navigation arrows below the animation screen to play, pause, rewind or fast forward the animation. A central line is a narrow, flexible tube, which can help give treatment without the need for repeated injections. It's used to give medicines, intravenous fluids, and take blood samples. A small cut is made in the skin near your collarbone. This is the entry site. The tip of the central line is threaded into a large vein and towards your heart. Part of the tube is tunnelled under your skin to reach an exit site on the chest. Part of the tube will sit outside your body. You may have a local anaesthetic to block feeling in the entry and exit sites. Here we show the tip of a central line, part of the tube tunnelled under the skin towards an exit site. The other part of the tube remains outside the body. The entry site may be closed with stitches and covered with a clear dressing. You will have a chest x-ray to make sure your central line is correctly positioned. This is the end of the animation. So she's having that done today so it's easier for her to have her plasma exchange. She last texted me about half ten this morning so hopefully um, she's probably in the operating theatre now, I'm hoping so. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that all goes well. So like I said, I'm just currently at home at the moment, pottering around. I've had my breakfast, I had that about 8 o'clock this morning. And then I'm just having an iron whether to do for lunch. But before I go to lunch, I've got to run a couple of errands. So um, one of the errands is this, if I just take you with me. So this fan we've had in the bedroom now for a couple of months. Uh, as you can see, it's not the cleanest of fans. It doesn't work, so it's going in the skip. So I know at my old workplace, we've got a skip. You might have seen in the video yesterday when me and Jess went on a walk, there's a mass massive skip outside our uh, my old work. So the plan is to take that to that skip today and get rid of it, because if I don't soon, then I am worried where else I can get rid of it, because most of the local dumps and tips around here are all closed at the moment and I really don't want that dirty fan in the bedroom especially when Jess is coming home from surgery today I know it's only a minor operation but it's still got to be sterile and the house has got to be clean so me and Jess yesterday done a blitz around the house so it's nice and clean for when she gets back today oh I say me and Jess did it Jess mainly I sort of just helped out bits and bobs but Jess bless her done the majority of it so I need to get that fan taken to the uh, skip today so I'm going to do that luckily I've got the work van here today and my boss has old, said to me that I can keep the work van until Christmas so I'm keeping the work van parked outside my house so that's going to be here so I'm going to run the fan up in that in a bit and then I need to pop to the shops uh, I just need to get some milk it's nothing exciting and then I'm going to come back and have some lunch probably and just watch a bit of TV at the moment I'm currently watching if you can see I'm currently watching Sean and Steph. 
Jessica and myself were both mentioned on here, I think a few vlogs ago, how we was introduced into Sean and Steph on YouTube. Uh, so I won't go into that now. Uh, if you are interested, just go to YouTube and type in Sean and Steph and they've got a whole array of videos, travel videos, cruising videos, life um, style videos, the whole work. So give them a, give them a, um, a search for on YouTube and then I'm sure you'll fall in love with them just like Jess and I have. So I need to get on, I need to stop waffling because time's getting on. Um, I'm going to leave now to go to my work and drop this fan off at the skip before the skip goes because I've got a horrible feeling it's going to go and I'm going to be stuck with it until after lockdown which is not ideal because I need to get out of the house. So I'm going to take you with me. It may not be the most exciting thing to see but as, I, as I've said already I'm on my own at the moment. Jess is in hospital so I'm just trying to make up as I go along. Bear with me. It might not be the best. It might not be what you're used to from the last few weeks. But I'll do my best. I'll in Jessica's, Jessica's currently vlogging whilst in the hospital anyway. So we'll insert that into this vlog. So you'll get to see how she, what she's going through and how she's coping with everything. And yeah, we'll see you later. So that's job one done, getting rid of the fan. Now to the shops. So it's been about an hour now since you last saw me uh, put the fan in the skip. Um, I didn't take the camera with me to Tesco to get some milk and for something for dinner. I completely forgot to be honest. And to be honest, I was only in there for about five minutes. I was in and out quickly. So there was no need for me to take you with me. I've been home now for a little while. Still waiting to hear from Jess. It's been about four hours now since I last heard from her. That could be that could mean that she's just uh, waiting to have the operation. She could and have her phone turned off. She could be in the operating room now having the procedure done. Or she could have been out by now and she's just resting with her phone turned off because she knows she'll get bombarded with calls and texts from family and loved ones. But I'll let you know when I hear from her. It's a little bit concerned at the moment, so um, I'm patiently looking at my phone just to see what's the latest update with her but she hasn't been on whatsapp for four hours yet so i'll let you know like i said i'm going to get back on the job hunt job hunting uh as you know i've said in the previous vlog it's getting a little bit disheartening but i can't let that bother me i need to get back on it so i'm going to start again today hopefully apply for a ton of jobs whether i hear back from any of them um, remains to be seen but I'll check back in with you later guys, hopefully with a Jess in hand. Hi everyone, I've just got back from theatre. It went really, really well. Um, I will show you the permacaf in a minute. Um, I'm having some rich tea digestives. I've been really good and not had the chocolate ones. And I've got an apple juice as well. So I'm in my element at the moment. Since my diet's changed, I'm literally just drinking apple juice. And as a snack, I have 
digestive so I can't really complain um, it was really daunting I'm not gonna lie they put me in theatre cleaned up the area and she said there's going to be a lot of pulling a lot of tugging the worst pain will be the anesthetic and it really did sting they put a bit of anesthetic in up here and they put some anesthetic in in the area where the tubes come out they um, inserted the tube into my neck and then stitched that off and then tunneled it because it's actually called a dialysis tunneled catheter um, and then it comes down and then they made another hole and it comes out so I will show you that now so that's the bit where they've gone in the tube runs all the way down here and it comes out just above my armpit and then that is the uh, tubes that they will use so it's really really neat I'm quite impressed so yeah that's the tube coming out there I've got plastic on it I'm not due to have the dressing change till next week this is all stitched up and eventually will be free I don't think I'll have a dress in there but it's just quite sore I can't really turn my head much but this is going to be my friend for the next year and a half so as a joke Wayne and I have decided to call her Penelope so I'd like to introduce you to Penelope Permacat <laughs> um, yeah so it's the only way to keep me sane and keep me from losing my cool because I'm not gonna lie it's really daunting knowing that this is gonna be in my chest for the next year to 18 months while I'm having plasma exchange so it's all positive it's all good news and I will check back in with you all later just want to add more one more thing I just want to thank Dr Wu who was the lovely uh, I think she was a surgeon if not she was a doctor who performed it I would like to thank Martin for holding my hand throughout the whole of the procedure. It was more like a rave than an uh, operating procedure. We were singing to Capital FM for like a good 45 minutes. It was so funny. Um, they had like a club version of RESPCT and we were singing. <laughs> it was so funny, even though I had like my mask over my face. It was um, helped get the time passed. But yeah, for anyone who hasn't ever had one of these or is getting one done I'm not gonna lie it's not comfortable you do feel a lot of pulling and a lot of tugging because the tube runs all the way down here and I can feel it in there now and um, I've had some paracetamol and they did numb everywhere they they injected me here and they injected me here and um, I can't have a shower for a few days um, and then I'm due to go back on Monday and I would also like to thank the staff on the Pitu ward as well at the Royal Three um, my nurse who is called Joyce she's been really lovely and another nurse called Nicoletta she's really lovely as well so everyone again has been fantastic um, and if you want to learn more about the Royal Free you can watch their TV program called Hospital on BBC Two's BBC Two on Mondays at 9 it's a six-part series and it was filmed when I was last in hospital so you may get to see me on there um, they did film while I was in there and they filmed part of my journey when I was in HDU last time. So you never know, you might see me on your TV screens on BBC Two on Mondays at 9 o'clock. If I'm not, I'd still like to raise awareness. So if you'd like to learn more about this amazing hospital, please watch Hospital on BBC Two at 9 o'clock on Monday evenings and it's on for the next six weeks. You will have just missed the first episode that was on last Monday and episode two is on next Monday. So yeah, I'm going to enjoy my rich tea biscuits and my apple juice and I will uh, speak to you all soon. Bye guys. Hi guys, so I'm home now. I've just sat down on the chair with Wayne and got relaxed, got in a nice nighty. I'm going to go and watch a Disney film in the bedroom in a minute. Wayne doesn't care about me. He'd rather watch England under 21s. England under 21s. And he's really, really pushing the boat out because I said he's going to have to clean up. And this is his version of not having to clean up. He's put his dinner 
on a tin foiled plate. <laughs> Literally. It saves, saves washing up, doesn't it? Show the camera. On set. So to carry on the conversation, that's my dinner. I hate washing up and I've tried to avoid it at every cost. He says he's allergic to it, but I know there's something called marigolds. That I'm a, uh, yeah, before Jess butts in, I'm allergic to the washing up liquid. And I know most people do say that, but I am, honestly. And I know I'm going to have to wash up tonight because obviously Jess has come out of the hospital. So to ensure that I don't have to wash up much, I've put foil around my plate and then dished up my calves and potatoes on it. So that's another little hack for any men out there that doesn't want to wash up. Afternoon everyone, I'm coming to you from home. I was discharged last night. It's now Saturday the 14th of November. We really, really do apologise that we didn't finish the uh, day off yesterday. When I got home, Wayne was just there greeting me with open arms because I did text him when I went down to theatre about half nine but for some reason the WhatsApp message didn't go through so he was waiting for four hours for me not knowing what was going on whether I was alive or whether I was safe or in recovery so as soon as I got home we just wanted to spend some time together we were meant to finish the vlog so we do apologise I'm doing okay um, I had a bit of a restless night which is understandable when you've got this thing in your chest I can feel it going all the way along here and all the way down here and it's feel like I'm being pulled in two directions I usually sleep with uh, just like two thin pillows but I've had to drag a load of pillows from the living room just so I'm like upright in bed yeah so Wayne says he does apologize for not finishing the vlog we uh, just chilled and watched our usual Friday night stuff so Coronation Street um, goggle box was so funny <laughs> And we did watch a little bit of um, Children in Need because Little Mix were on there. And for anyone who doesn't know, I'm obsessed with Little Mix. So that was nice to come home and watch a few nice things. And then Live Lounge was on. So I really enjoyed watching Live Lounge as well. One of the songs on there is by Little Mix. It's a cover from Harry Styles called Fallin. And it is actually the song that I listened to on repeat during, um, what's it called? Plasma Exchange. I do apologise if I keep looking up there. I'm meant to be looking in the camera lens, but it's because the screen, so I might have to like pop the screen down so I'm not looking at myself like I'm doing now. And for anyone who doesn't know, we have the Canon G7X Mark II. So it does have like a flip up screen. So I'm trying to look at you <laughs> in the lens, but I don't know what I'm gonna do when we do eventually go around Disney because it's just so freaky. At least with my phone, I can look at the camera. But you probably noticed all the videos I'm like looking over there or looking over there but we'll get better if I do sound a bit out of breath I am I'm finding it really hard to move my shoulders and stuff I feel quite restricted and for anyone who's wanting to know um it just feels like muscle aches basically so if you like pull the muscle in your neck it just feels like that but I slept a lot more well than I thought I was going to and I've eaten well I've not been sick so fingers crossed i'm going to have a year of no pain i go back to the hospital on monday for my plasma exchange and the nurse helen who i met yesterday who was so lovely i i couldn't be in better hands so she's going to explain to me how to change the dressings i will have district nurses coming out which is great um, but sometimes they're late or Wayne and I might be travelling and I'm going to show Wayne how to do it. So it will all be sterile. Uh, I don't really know what else to say, I'm just waffling on. But yeah, we will probably come back to you uh, tomorrow. We're just uh, chilling today, it's now Saturday. Probably not going to do much again tomorrow either. Wayne's going to have to go shopping. I did get a clinically vulnerable letter, which... It's just one of those things so I wouldn't be allowed to leave the house I wouldn't be allowed to go to the supermarket I am allowed to do like a little bit of exercise which I probably will do when it's not raining because today it's out there it's just the weather's miserable um I'm trying to think what else I need to tell you really yeah and I'm gonna vlog a little bit of my first day back at the plasma exchange unit or hematology ward because last time when I vlogged, I was on the dialysis ward. So this time I'm going to be on a completely different ward with completely different staff. And I'm going to take you along for the journey. So I will see you all either later on tonight or tomorrow. So bye guys. 
Hi everyone, so you're probably wondering why I'm at home and not at the Royal Three. It's currently Sunday evening and I was going to vlog the journey of my plasma exchange, the second round of it tomorrow, but I've just realised this video is going to be about 45 minutes long, possibly an hour, if I add footage of the uh, plasma exchange that I'm receiving tomorrow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that into a new vlog for the week after, which will be week three of lockdown. And I'd like to go into a lot more detail and I'd like to introduce you to some of the staff. I'm not sure whether they'll be on camera, but you may like hear them talking. And I'd like to show the haematology unit as well, because this is where you're going to see me over the next 12 to 18 months. So rather than put it in a quick, say, five, ten minute clip you're not going to get as much information and i'd like to raise as much awareness as i can for anyone who's receiving um plasma exchange at the royal three or even at another hospital just so you can get a bit of insight as to what you can expect and previously i've already shown you the dialysis ward um, i know i haven't gone into a lot of detail with regards to dialysis but that's not what i'm receiving and i don't want to confuse people Considering I've already got a tunneled dialysis catheter, I don't want to confuse people anymore. I've got this tube in because it's the only way that I can receive treatment because my veins just collapse because of the um, autoimmune condition that I have that basically attacks my blood vessels. So any tubes that are put into my body, i.e. a cannula or a pick line, they just fail. So this is the only way that I can receive treatment that's safe and that will get the job done basically so i'm going to finish the vlog here and the next time you will see me i will be at the royal three in the next vlog next week's vlog so again thank you for watching and supporting our journey and basically all just being amazing because the love and support that wayne and i have received has been amazing especially a lot of people who I haven't spoke to in years, people who I went to school with and even family members, you've all sent lots of love and support. So thank you for that. If you like our channel, please subscribe and please give this video a huge thumbs up. We are Holiday with the Heathers. I'm Jessica. Wayne is in the living room at the moment. I'm not sure if he's fell asleep or not. He's shattered waiting for me. I've been editing this video up until now and I've just decided to put this little ending on the vlog. So um, I'm sure Wayne will see you in next week's vlog. If you want to see any more of our content, please click the notification bell. And again, thank you for supporting us and watching your channel. I'm Jessica and I will see you soon. Bye guys. Oh, he's not asleep. You're watching the football. Yeah. Is there anything you want to say? I uh, just want to say thank you for watching. I'm going to go now because we're about to watch the Lincoln game. As you can see, got my top on. Go Lions! <laughs> and I will see you soon. Bye!